my loves welcome back to my channel and today as you can see we are in the park this is a new park i have my baby here hey and we are having fun yay <laughs> say hey alakai <laughs> We're just gonna be playing outside a little bit, aren't we? What? What'd she say? Uh-oh, you getting it. Yeah, that hurt, huh? You want to climb up the stairs? You got to climb up the stairs. Come on. Let's go up the stairs. Yeah, you got to go up the stairs and go down. The little slide. No, don't eat that. Come on, keep going. Go up. No food in this area. <laughs> Yay! Come on. Yay! Just so I can take off my shoes. I just saw a lot of dog poop, so it's kind of cautious. Ooh, this wood. This wood chips. Ah! Ooh! I don't know. There's something different about. Ooh! Ouch! Ooh, I'm putting my feet, shoes back on. Uh-uh. See these wood chips? Wee! You did it, okay? These wood chips are no joke. Yeah, they're 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 not comfortable. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, I gotta put my feet back, my shoes back on. Ouchie. Yay, you went down the slide. You gonna go down it again? Yay, let's do it again. Again. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the other side. Come on. I'll come around here and wait on you. Yay, yeah, you coming? All right, come on. We you did it! Yay! That's awesome. Let's see something else you like, huh? All right, come on. Uh oh, it's all right. Get back up. Go ahead and get up. I feel like ants down here, I guess. Alright. There you go. 
gonna climb up. Ooh, you got a lot of dirt on you from the fall, but that's okay. All right, climb up. Ooh, got some uh, bird poop on your hands. Look like. <laughs> yeah, that looks like fun. You in the what the hippopotamus mouth? That's the hippopotamus mouth. Hey, yeah. Dad. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Hey, Dad. chips is something else aren't they I thought they were softer they look soft but they're not things are let's go around see what you doing oh. yay peekaboo <laughs> I see you <laughs> yeah I see you yeah, we're out. I decided to come out right around 6 or so. Um, right when the sun is really pretty much down, it's getting kind of cloudy. So I said I would come out and let him play and then uh, later on water my grass. I have to do that because I have a couple of sprinklers broke and my sprinkler people must be very busy because they I've called like three of them. And, they haven't returned the call, but that was a few months ago, so maybe now, you know, it's calmed down that they'll be able to help. But I thought it'd be fun to come out here and let him play, you know? It's so beautiful, it's gorgeous, the wind is blowing, it's so nourishing. Um, yeah, and later on I'll enjoy some more of that. I'll ground a little bit and go outside. I used to do more in my yard that I have this year but you know running around with this little man I can't stay out there too long I don't want to you know have him uncomfortable but after he gets older oh he'll be out there with me <laughs> my older kids they were always in the yard with us we'd be out there most of the day you know putting the uh, rocks down and things of that nature just you know making things a little bit more beautiful to enjoy so. Hey man, you having fun? They got a little rocker toy, huh? Yeah, that's fun, man. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, he's having a time of his life. This is another neighborhood, not my neighborhood, but it's close to my my house, my neighborhood. And I just happened to see it. I had a patient in the area. I was leaving there one week. And I said, wow, this is a, a nice little park. And they have a lot more baby toys, you know, that are baby, um, like really the whole park, if you ask me. That's probably why I know, big, well, they have a bigger kid side over there back there yeah back there is the bigger kid um, it's a little bit bigger but you know it's still baby friendly you know some of them have the big slides and he'll go down it and then he'll just like fly in the air <laughs> then he's scared he doesn't want to get on it again so but these this slide as you can see he loved that and he loves these toys over here so it's good to travel around you know go to your different neighborhoods if you have little ones let him get out here in nature i mean he loves it he's and the health i've noticed um there's not as many uh runny noses or any of that since we've been making a point to really you know come outside almost every day almost every day. even if it's hot i'll come out 
you know, uh, to water my garden or something like that, I'll take him, I'll take his shoes off too, and he'll ground. And I notice less runny noses. I've been, um, you know, even though the daycare kids, they might all be sneezing and coughing and, and all of that, but this little one, since we've been coming outside, and of course he's still on the hemp milk. Um, and we'll probably do an update another one because a lot of people are asking me for the formula even though I did put it in two videos um, uh, you know I have it in the why it was taken down video and then I have it with another mother that uh, the full formula that um, um, yeah we're making formula and uh, breast milk herbs so it's in that video both of those um, but I may do another one just like a vlog style when I make his his formula is actually a toddler formula and since I do give him herbs like the Irish moss separately I don't put it in his milk anymore but it's the same formula and I add more water because he's eating everything so he doesn't really need it that concentrated so it, it's a win-win it's less money uh, less product that you have to use and uh, it lasts. I add a little bit more agave, make it a little bit sweeter so he likes it. But he loves the milk. And of course I, I make my own homemade uh, juice too. Um, it's more of like a puri, but he likes that. I put that in his little pouches. And he just enjoys that. So, yeah. He's... Oh, you are just having a blast. Yay! Now you know you cannot climb those bars. Why don't you try the stairs? When we get, we gotta get, you know, we'll get a little bit taller and stronger and do those. I guess stronger, you don't have to be taller. I'm a little bit more safe. I'll put it like that because you can do it. You can do it. I better encourage you. Come over here, Alakai. They have the stairs. I guess he's gotten to the point where I can just sit and watch him play now. <laughs> I'm so used to running around after him. Um, and now he's able to climb and do all that stuff. I don't have to run, which is so nice. I always see these parents so you know sitting and just enjoying themselves while they watch their children play and now I can do it too yay so beautiful something so um, healing about just being outside especially days like this when the wind is blowing um, and the mind is not racing <laughs> it's beautiful to be in the peace of your own nature because i believe not only inside is um our true nature but outside but sometimes you know when inside is chaotic the outside looks chaotic chaotic too you know it's hard to enjoy truly enjoy everything when um, there's chaos within whether there's problems in relationships or um, anything external to me those are all um, still mind things because reason why I say that because um, if you never think about them they don't harm you you know it's the fact that we keep the, it's the replaying of the trouble, the perceived trouble in our head over and over that causes uh, the suffering that's, that sometimes we go through. And uh, what I found is uh, that when the replaying in the mind stops, then the suffering stops. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with. Um, hurt comes from thinking about it. <laughs> And so uh, one thing that I've done is basically 
and it's hard like you said you know it's hard to stop sometimes replaying something that is so close to you uh, meaningful you, to you at the time um, and I guess the good technique that I've always done is just to try to stay present and then affirmations. Sometimes it takes a little bit of affirmations um, to reprogram the mind. You know, um, you know, think of positive things, things you can say to yourself, encouraging words, phrases um, that you can give yourself, or when you follow yourself, find yourself in the past, just pulling it back to the future and just taking a deep breath in and going back to that place of peace you know just finding your heart and i do i just let my heart expand all day long you know i just open it up and then i try to just put myself within that and that is a great technique and every time i feel all of that i don't try to stop anything because you cannot stop your mind but you can stop the attention that you put on it you know and you can move your attention to your heart you know or move it to what's here and now you know like now I'm enjoying my baby I move it to the breeze you know um, what I'm feeling and the happiness I feel inside when I see him playing and just enjoying himself um, those are the things that I um, really put the focus on and that removes that constant uh, programming that um, we have been accustomed to of just letting the mind replay. Oh, he has something in his mouth. Disgusting. Give me that. What is that? that Alakai. No. Ooh, and it's super filthy. So when you talk about this sun, the sun better take away <laughs> all of that. Yeah. We're going to do some extra herbs on that one. But um, yeah, and so it just stops the constant replaying. You have to reprogram. It's a, you know, we are, our DNA is coded full of memory and um, it's like a computer. They'll tell you, when you look in the DNA, they found codes in there. Um, and Nika codes is what they call them. But um, yeah, our bodies are just like that. So it remembers everything. Sometimes you could be, uh, be fearful because of past traumas, you know, um, that you dealt with, and these things that come up in your subconscious, uh, without you even knowing it, you'll just uh, be dealing with things that you don't even know you're having an issue with, and so, uh, yeah, a good way of washing. Or renewing of the mind as the Bible would would say is to just be present um, ignore the constant um, chaos when it comes and uh, just open your heart and just try to find yourself sitting there and let it play just let it play and let it play but don't no attention and no belief it's the belief that really brings about the fear and the suffering. Look at this. <laughs> Decided not to walk. And so, yeah, if we can find ourselves believing in love and happiness and peace, those are the things that we give our attentions to. As the Bible say, says, uh, think on these things. Love, peace, joy, happiness. You know, all of those things are wonderful. And then after a while, you'll find it get quiet. It will come to quiet. And um, it'll be a shock. Because <laughs> you'll be like, I, this is alien. <laughs> but really it's not. It's your true nature. Um, that quiet space within yourself. And um, I don't know. It's... Uh, kind of lost my train of thought looking at him in the corner here yeah but it is our true nature that that quiet space and then after a while when the mind does start you it's almost like you're suspect of it after a while you know you're looking at it like have you changed 
Have you gotten your get right? But you'll be full, so full of love. Sometimes it feels like bliss. Um, sometimes it's just a quiet peace. Sometimes it's an emptiness. But it feels like home. You know, um, where is he at? Oh, there he is, a little head peeking over the hippo. But you know it's home, it's a quiet, silent space, but it's not scary. And before you know it, after that, um, after you get through that, um, little by little, fear just starts to melt away. It's like, over time, before you know you look up and, and this fearful being that you may or may not have been is gone. The fears that you used to be scared of, the worries you used to think about, even your relationships change. Not to say that you still don't have your disagreements. You may even have arguments, um, which you could, yeah, argument. Um, but it's in love. Your, your nature is going to be more of a loving nature. And you won't think about it afterwards. <laughs> I don't know if they think about it, but you won't be dwelling on that. It won't torment you all day about, you know, the disagreement that you had uh, over whatever it was before you left. And then when you revisit, it's going to be love again. It's not like you're holding on to anything. It's just new again. Every moment is new. So, yeah, I just thought I um leave you with that because um, I don't know this experience has just been awesome for me um, and uh, you know I just have blessings that hopefully everyone can find that uh, love space that home that true nature full of joy and peace and comfort where there is no um, suffering discord there is no loneliness <laughs> space within you because I believe whole people may you know help other people to be whole two holes makes the world even brighter and just think what you can do uh, when you and your partner is on that level together um, every day is just new it's just so wonderful anyway I don't want to keep going on and on and probably going to let him play where is he at oh he's right over there <laughs> I see him uh, let him play for a little bit longer but I thought I'd come here lately I've been doing these contemplations of the heart because that is where the spirit is leading me um, I have a number of of um, herbal videos and usually that's my my jam I love homeopathy but I'm starting to get into a new homeopathy um, that's not really new um, it's always been here it's always been a, a part of me and I think it's the more rewarding I think our self-healing is the best healing because that comes from inside and out and so um, yeah, I wanted to uh, also make an announcement <laughs> that uh, you're going to see some changes within this body, possibly. I'm going to be starting a new, I'll say lifestyle change. It's not really new. It's almost what I've been doing, but um, I'm going to take you with me on this journey. So I, my body may start to change. It may start to look lose a little weight. I'm going to be getting in the gym more so I don't look, you know, like I'm just um, dragging in. But yeah, I'm going to do more of a minimalistic diet. I'm going to push this body to the limits. <laughs> I'm going to push it to the limits. Why not? That's what we're going to do. And we're going to see. It's exciting for me to do all these new things that I haven't done and push the limits of, to where you, uh, I say that I can't go. First of all, I'm just going to just be going down in my eating. I'm eating once a day. I'm going to go into more of a liquid type of diet. and But I'm going to listen to my body. 
when it says it needs something I'm gonna give it to them especially you know I'm just gonna see if I can change the system uh, inside my body to be a more self-sustaining system kind of like the well it's like the breatharian journey I'm not putting a label on what I'm doing because I believe well labels can uh, put you in a box someone see me eating something say I thought you were uh, this or that no I'm not I'm not anything okay I'm just going to uh, transition I notice that I have a lot of energy when I only eat once a day and when I exercise uh, in the mornings and then I've been exercising a little at night now when I tell you I'm gonna take you through my little exercise regimen when I tell you I'm exercising it's an ant. Uh, it is five minutes okay Five to ten minutes is what I do. I may do ten, ten minutes on the bike, and then when I do my weights, it's about a ten minute um, to fifteen minute thing. I was nothing rigorous. I'm not doing anything rigorous. If it feels rigorous, guess what? Who's not gonna do it? Me. I'm not gonna do anything that causes suffering. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, uh, come with me. And if you want to do it with me, have at it, honey. I'm telling you, it's so fun. This diet, I would not recommend to anybody who are still dealing with a lot of mind stuff. Um, you know, they even talk about breatharian diet. It's not a diet if your vibration, we all ring off a of vibration, is pretty low. And if you can tell if your vibration is low, I'm not saying for everyone, but I'm saying, um, if you still have not uh, mastered, and I don't know if, it, if that's the word, or overcome or realize your true nature, I'll just say it like that. Since you realize your true nature, I say this diet could be perfect because um, there's a lot of things, it's almost like the energy of the Almighty starts to really nourish you more. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like the more I'm in my true nature, um, the elements are nourishing to me so um, call it crazy but the almighty I guess he is self-sufficient I'm enjoying it I feel good and so um, it, it's like he's just loving me in new ways that I didn't think that could be um, that I never knew was out there I guess I didn't realize um, that we could you know it could I don't know the word. <laughs> just love me in ways that I didn't knew that could be. I just put that there. And that is through the wind and, you know, all the nutrients and the energy and just through thinking, really. And once you come in that new, new nature, you can, things that just manifest um, are so easy because you don't have all that junk in your mind to sift through. Anyway, I don't want to keep babbling, like I said. And I did went on. I went on for probably about five more minutes after I said I was going to uh, shut it down. But anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Um, remember that I do this for you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember that you are beautiful, and I love you.